basically everything was going to plan until all of a sudden <coughs> It happens. It's an interesting piece of slang that is and anybody native to my country will of course know what it means but for anybody that doesn't it basically means that in life things are going to happen that are unexpected and not very pleasant you know things that we don't want to happen and so we categorize them as shit Hence, the phrase, shit happens. Now, uh, last week, I mentioned that Laren here was the only bike in my garage. And that is still true. And the short story as to how that came to be is, well, it's like, it goes like this. A couple of weeks back, we decided to go to Jolly's bike night and we managed to get six of us together actually seven if you include our little pillion passenger and we also had a, a car with us as well so there was actually quite a few of us so off we went to Jolly's nice ride over it was a cracking evening you know great atmosphere good company great food you know all in all it was a great night and then when it came time to go we all managed to leave together at the same time had a nice ride back and that's when disaster struck now the footage for this for this disaster was taken from one of our bikes that was in front of the bike in question and there was a little bit of a distance there which means that to see the footage to actually watch the footage you have to zoom in And of course, once you zoom in, the footage starts to lose some of its quality. But you can still see what actually, what actually went on. Basically, everything was going to plan until all of a sudden, the engine on the Bandit blew. Now, at this point, I wasn't with them. At this point, we'd, we'd broken off and, you know, we were going to our respective homes, etc. And so I got home to a bunch of messages saying one of the bikes has set itself on fire on the way home. So I went back out to see if people were OK, etc. See if bikes were OK as well. And fortunately, yes, the riders were OK. But of course, the bandit wasn't and what had happened was what had happened was it's all to do with the piston and the piston rod and it looks like the rod cap has become detached from the big end which has then allowed the piston rod to become detached from the crank and then fuel and air has ignited in the combustion chamber and forced the piston and rod down well at this point the piston and rod didn't have anywhere to go and so they've gone down and out the front of the engine and as that's happened fuel that was in the process of burning has also come out the front of the engine and set the rider's boot on fire Fortunately, the rider 
was still okay because what seems to have happened is the fuel has gone onto his boot and the fuel has burnt off and then it's gone out so the rider was okay and it's important to remember when shit happens to remember some wise words once spoken by a stoic philosopher and it goes something like it's not what happens to you but how you react to it that matters now if what's happened to you involves blowing your engine and setting your boot on fire then responding with a fire extinguisher seems quite appropriate to me fortunately for the riders when they stopped at the lay-by there was a trucker there and he gave them a fire extinguisher they were quite lucky in that respect and what I mean about reacting when shit happens I mean that we've all got control over our reactions we're going to react and a lot of the time we react with frustration and colorful language etc but we have control over our reaction now shit's gonna happen and sometimes you need to get that frustration out I appreciate that if you have to swear what I would say is swear despair but don't live there once you've got the frustration out of your system you very quickly then you've got to regroup and come up with a new plan now the rider of this bike is come up with a new plan already he has already sourced the money for a replacement engine and he's resourced the engine and he's got the engine delivered now I was going to fit it with him but he's gone and found a garage to fit it as well not that he doesn't trust my ability I think maybe he's just a little bit unsure and neither one of us really has ever changed a, a bike engine so his plan is well underway got the money together got the engine found a garage his bulk will be in the garage before before we know it having its engine having its engine replaced in the meantime I've lent him Rafiki because his bike was his only method of transport and he needs to get about he needs to get to work and I trust him I trust him with my bike although I will say it's a little bit weird seeing someone else riding my bike now I think about some of the things that have happened to me and my vehicles over this last I don't know 12 months and I think about how I reacted so for example so for example last year Lexi broke down flat battery she picked up a nail in her tire at some point and when I was filming one of my earlier YouTube videos I turned around to discover that she'd got a leak from her radiator you know and then there's the 306 I went out to the 306 the one day to find that he had leaked diesel all over the road and then there's Laren here she leaked fuel onto my garage floor the day after she passed her MOT Rafiki's master cylinder developed a leak and at some point Rafiki had picked up a screw in his in his tire and I tell you what every single time one of these things has happened you can be damn sure that I've responded with frustration and colourful language because you know shit happened but I very quickly got my act together and came up with a plan as to how I was going to fix every one of these things remember it's not what happens to you but how you react to it that matters.